All right then gang, so now we're in a position where we can start to create the Ninja Pizza project that I showed you at the very start of this whole series. So then, the first step is to use what we just learned in the last lesson, the require and include, to make some templates for this project because this project might have three or four different pages and each of those pages is gonna have a header with a nav bar in it and also a footer at the bottom. Now, instead of us writing those out over and over again for each page, Instead, we're gonna do it once in their own separate template files, then we're gonna include them when we need them in those different pages, okay? Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is create those other files for the header and the footer, and we're gonna place those in a new folder, and this folder is gonna be called Templates. And now we'll create a new file called header.php, and then we'll also create a new file, and we'll call this footer .php. Okay, so now both of those files live inside the templates. Now, I want to stress at this point that in this series, I don't want to focus too much on CSS and styling because this is not a CSS course. You might already know all about that. I want to keep the focus mainly on PHP and learning PHP. So for that reason, I've decided to use a third party library to handle all the styling format and all the CSS classes. And the one I've opted to go for is materialize CSS. It's a bit like Bootstrap, but they use Google's design philosophy instead of Bootstrap's, okay? So it's gonna look a bit more like a Google site. Now this is dead simple to learn, and I do in fact have a whole series on materialize on this YouTube channel. So if you wanna check that out, the link is gonna be right down below. You can go ahead and do that, but it's not that hard to master, and we're not gonna be focusing on it too much in this course either. All I'm gonna do is use some of the helper classes to help style our templates, okay? So then, first of all, the header. What do we want to put in here? Well, what's gonna be in the HTML template of every page that we serve up to the browser? Well, if you think about it, the head is gonna be in every page, so we'll take that. I'm gonna cut it from there and paste it in the header. That's gonna be at the top right. And also, the opening body tag is gonna be in every page as well. So we'll place this in here, like so. Now, the closing body tag is not gonna go in here because before the closing body tag, we're gonna have our footer. So the closing body tag is eventually gonna go in here and the opening one in here, okay? Now, first of all, the title, we'll call this Ninja Pizza. And then I want to put a link to the Materialize CSS library. So I'm gonna go to the Materialize site. It's materializecss.com. The link as well will be down below and click Get Started. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna use the CDN for this CSS. So just grab that thing right there and we wanna paste this inside the head, okay? That's our CSS right there. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is come down beneath the body and actually create some content. Now, I'm gonna give the body a class right here and this class is gonna be a materialized class. So that class will be gray and that colors the background gray then I'm gonna give it another class called Lighten 4 and it takes that background gray color and it lightens it by four shades, okay? So if I save this now, then we're not obviously gonna see it in the browser because we've not included it over here. But if I now include that inside the HTML tag, and I'll do that by adding my PHP tags, then using the include function, and we're gonna include inside the templates folder, the header.php, okay? So now if I save this and come to the browser and try to preview this, now we can see the background is gray, okay? Cool. So inside the body, I'd like to create a navigation. So I'll do my nav tag first of all, and I'm gonna give this as well a class. And this class is gonna be equal to white because I want the background of the navigation to be white. And also Z hyphen depth hyphen zero because by default, when we create a nav in Materialize, it gives it a little drop shadow. This takes away the drop shadow. It gives it no depth, all right? Now inside the nav, I'd like to create a container. So I'm gonna do another div with a class of container right here, and I'm gonna try to spell it correctly, container. And inside that container, and by the way, this is another Materialize class. What it does is keep everything within a central column rather than making the whole content full width across the page, okay? So inside the container now, 
I'm going to do a title for the nav bar and that is going to be inside an anchor tag because when we click on this eventually I want it to take us to the home page so anchor tag href for now is just going to be a hash so it doesn't really go anywhere I'm going to give this a class of brand oops we need to be in the tag so give this a class of brand hyphen logo again materialized class just styles it a little bit and also what I'm going to do is give this a class of brand hyphen text now that there is not a materialized class that's one that I'm going to make just to color this correctly later on okay now inside the anchor tag I just want to say ninja pizza that's the title so that's our title inside the nav bar and when materialize styles all this it's going to position this on the left of the nav bar if I save it and preview right now then we should see the nav bar at the top we can't see the text at the minute but we will do shortly now then underneath that I'd like to create a UL and that UL is going to have an ID equal to nav hyphen mobile and then inside the UL in fact we'll give this a couple of classes first of all so the class here is going to be right because I want it positioned on the right that's a materialized class as well and we're going to hide this on small and down so when we get to small screens and down we're just going to hide the navigation I'm not concerned about making this application too responsive that's not the aim of this course like I said the aim is PHP okay so anyway we have that UL now now we're going to place links inside this UL and every link is going to have its own li tag now for now I only think there's going to be one link and that is going to be to add a new pizza so let's do an anchor tag inside that li again we'll hook this up later on for now just do a hash and this will have a class equal to btn and that's a materialized class again and that just makes it look a bit like a button we want to give this a class of brand that again is one of my classes and we're going to use brand text and brand later on also going to give this a z hyphen depth of zero so there's no drop shadow and we'll call this add a pizza okay so save that preview again over here and we can see that button over there now okay so we're going to use these two different classes that we've created this brand text and this brand and we're going to create those classes up here so let's create a new style tag and inside that style tag first of all let's create the brand rule and all I'm going to do is give this a background color so background and that is going to be hash CBB 09C and then we'll use important to override any kind of materialized classes that's on that as well so remember the brand is this thing over here so we're giving the button a background of this so if we save that and preview we should see now this color over here cool now we just need to do the brand text so brand hyphen text and then this is going to have a color this time so the text color and that is going to be the same as this so let me just grab that and paste it right here save that and let's preview this and now we can see this thing over here okay so it's not on the left by default it's in the center my mistake but that's fine that looks good so we've now made our header.php file and now every time we want to use that on each individual page we don't have to rewrite it or copy and paste it and then if we update it change it in all those different places now we just update it once in this place and we use include to include that header wherever we need it on each page essentially okay so now let's do the same thing for the footer first of all I'm going to include the footer down here like so and change this to footer this time still in the templates folder and now we need to flesh out the footer so what's going to go in the footer well not as much first of all at the bottom of the footer is going to go this closing body tag because that's going to be at the bottom of every page isn't it so it makes sense that if we put that here that's fine okay then so what else is going to go in the footer well I'm just going to do a footer tag right here and I'm going to give this a class equal to section again this is a materialized class and it doesn't matter that this thing here is not in the footer because remember at the end of the day all of this stuff and this stuff gets included in this page okay so this and this is going to be on the same page eventually so it will still pick up this stuff right here 
right? Because it's all going to be in index.php. So we can still use the materialized classes. So anyway, that's a materialized class. It just spaces things out of it for us. And inside the footer, we're going to do a div. And this is going to have a class of center. And in fact, I'll also give this a class of gray hyphen text. Now inside, I want to say something like copyright 2019 Ninja Pizzas. So I'll say that copyright 2019 Ninja Pizzas. Cool. All right then. So if we save that now, because we've already included it right here in the template, we should see it on the screen. So save that and we can see it right there. So there we go. That's our header done now. And that's our footer. So every time we create a new page now, all we need to do is include those on the new page. So we're well on our way already in creating this awesome project. I'm going to see you in the next lesson when we're going to start to talk about forms in PHP and the get and the post methods.